DMC, DM3, or as it was known in Quake, uh, the abandoned base as just DM3. I want to say that this is one of the like the definitive deathmatch maps in history. Maybe like the. I don't want to go that far because I, I quite like it, but it's not personally one of my favorites, though. You really can't go wrong with it. Uh, it was designed by that there, John Romero. You may have heard of him. And this is actually the only uh, deathmatch map he uh, contributed to the game. Uh, said he got it done in eight days. Um, it came. It was finished in January 96, a few days after I was born, actually. So it's almost as old as I am. Um, uh, yeah, really, it's it's fine. Um, it's it's fine. I, I really, let's just take a look. I really can't think of anything specific I want to say about it yet. Talking about it's going to be a little bit nuts because it is a little bit big, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this side of the map just because I feel it's a little bit easier. Um, oh, wow. Also, unlike the other maps we've talked about so far, this map actually does have every uh, weapon in the game as far as I'm aware. Yeah, actually it does. I don't know why I was, as far as I'm aware, I already forgot. All right, let's start, uh, let's start here. Yeah, this is a good spot. So yeah, here you go, grab some ammo, you got the nail gun here, which you're probably not going to be using fucking at all in this map, because it's useless. Um, so yeah, come up here, there's this little, like, you know, spiral that, you know, is pretty famous in this map, I guess, or it's a famous part of this map. I don't really know how to describe it, but, you know, I've seen screenshots of this map before, and they tend to like this one. And come up here and get the rocket, I mean, not the rocket, the red armor. Obviously, if you have the rocket launcher, you can probably just rocket jump here up here really quick. And I would imagine, too, in team play, you'd probably want to defend this part of the map, so, you know, keep that in mind. Let's go this way. If you come this way, you got a teleporter, which I'll show you where it goes, and we'll... Comes into this little, um, overhang area, like, you little, like, you know, what, what would you call this? Courtyard? Let's call it courtyard, because that's what it is. Uh, anyway, come back here, and yeah, there you go. This is how you can also get into this room from here. Uh, you can also get down to the courtyard from here, or you can come back up this way. And there's a mega health here. Uh, but obviously that doesn't spawn too often, so yeah, just keep that in mind, though. If you played this map a bunch, you're gonna know where that is regardless. I got seaweed in my fucking mouse ball right now. It was running smoothly earlier, but of course, every single time I go to record one of these videos, it starts acting up. Just my luck. I, but you wouldn't expect this any, uh, any other way now, would you? So anyway, come to the supercomputer room, and the thing about this is that this is an homage to the fact that in development, um... I think uh, id Software is going to make some sort of deal with the Cray Supercomputers to uh, get a so like a five thousand a five hundred thousand dollar super uh, Cray like Cray Supercomputer uh, in exchange for something I can't quite remember. I think it was going to be like Cray branding throughout the game, and that like the slip gates you saw like the teleporters were all powered by said supercomputers, but that deal fell through at some point because Silicon Graphics bought uh, Cray. And it just never came to fruition, so I think this is supposed to be an homage to that. If the deal went through, I would imagine this was supposed to be a Cray supercomputer here. Anyway, it's kind of a fucking maze. Uh, so let's go in here. You can get uh, some ammo, which is fun. You can always come here. Get some rocket ammo, which you're going to want. Shotgun. You're going to want everything. Just pick up everything. I don't really need to tell you. Just pick up everything. And if you come this way, you can actually jump on this thing. And here is my favorite, the super nail gun. Or, I guess maybe not really my favorite, but I'm always particularly fond of this weapon for some reason. You can grab a ton of ammo for it right here. You can also jump up here. And I just noticed... I don't remember how to get in here, but there's actually a secret passage or something that I apparently forget every time. Yeah, I always forget this exists, but it's there. There you go, there's a mega health. I mean, it's not like I played this map a super ton. Like, I played it... I've actually played it with real people, I swear, but, you know, that was only once or twice. Um, anyway, let's go back here, and this is gonna lead us to the courtyard again. Keep this in mind, by the way. This will be important later. Um, and this is, like, that other... That's how you get to the... This area from the... That's where we were there earlier. I don't know how to English all of a sudden. Um, anyway, so we'll talk about the how to get up there later. Let's go to this side of the room now. The, the area, the map, because it's not just a room. It's a bunch of rooms. And there's a, this is the watery area of the map. It's very important in a second. Uh, you can come over here and you want to grab this rocket launcher. I think you could spawn right next to it. I'm not. I'm never quite aware where all the spawn points are in this map. Uh, you got a couple options now. You can come this way. If you come this way, there is a armor with a slip gate, and the slip gate will lead you back over this way. Um, which this could actually be really useful. Keep that in mind. As um, if you know your spawn points really well, you could totally take advantage of that if you see someone running that way. Um, if you come this way now, uh, this is how you get to that courtyard we were looking- or the other side of the courtyard we were looking at earlier. And every you're gonna grab everyone's favorite quad damage. 
and this will lead you back to here. And we'll talk about this. You can come through the window here to get down to that uh, invincibility, which I don't think I've shown in any of these maps yet. Uh, or you can come back this way now. And now let's talk about the water. And what I like about the water is that John Romero gets it. He put the lightning gun right down here in the water so he could do this and have a gay old time. Um, but besides that, I mean, don't do that if they're not, like, they're not everyone's in there, but I don't really think I need to tell you that. Uh, you can also get to that courtyard. Oh, by the way, pick up the ammo here, too, if you're gonna, if you're gonna take the time to hang in the water, grab the water, like, the various ammos. Obviously come up for some breath, but I'm just explaining basic stuff that you'd probably figure out if you exist in real life. So you come this way, and yeah, here you go. Now you can do what I just did a moment ago, but for even better, because that's not gonna kill you. I thought there was more people in there, so I'm really disappointed, but I don't know how the water mechanics, like, the water shock mechanics work at all. Like, I don't know if they're only based on, like, the certain brush. Because, remember, the water areas are made up of different brushes, so, like, square... Say that pool there is made up of a rectangle, then a bigger square. I don't know if it just hits the rectangle. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, grab the map's third mega health. Very important. And now you're gonna see this shit over here. Uh, this is some elevators. And you can use these elevators. By the way, be careful someone's firing at you while riding these. To get up to here. You can spawn up here too. And now you can fall back down here. And that was there where that hole was earlier. Uh, for some reason I always think this map's bigger than it is. But I just remember too. Because one of the bots must have grabbed earlier. You can grab the invincibility too. Not super helpful. But I feel it's actually more useful in Deathmatch Classic. Than it is in uh, regular. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Quake. I mean the game that this is based on. Except it's not. like it's, it, it is Quake. Except it's not really. But it mostly is. I don't know what I'm talking about. Play this map because everyone seems to like it. Alright, so while I'm playing this with Parabot here, I might as well use the opportunity to just to, like give a little bit of update about the channel. Nothing serious, but I'm just going to be probably slower than I already am uh, with putting out YouTube videos because I want to work on something personal I've been wanting to do for a while, which is get back to making music a long time ago. For about, from about, like, late 2017 to about early 2019, I was really into, like, you know, making shitty little electronic music. And stuff like that. I wanted to be an industrial metal artist. Put out some crappy tracks. I might list my band camp at some point. But most of it's garbage. Um, and I've on and off, like, you know, made some stuff and did covers of, like, games and stuff. Using, like, midis every now and then. Um, but it's been a while since I've actually done that, like, consistently. Uh, but I've really wanted to get back into that. The inspiration to, like, you know, try my hand at, like, writing stuff. Especially now that I have a little bit more understanding of, like, the process of what makes good music and stuff like that. And I'm just like a different person than I was a few years ago. I want to do that. That's probably going to use up quite a bit of time though. I've already started actually. Which is why these videos, uh, however many videos I'm about to put out, like dump out here. That's why it's been a while. It's been like 10 days. I meant to get these out a lot sooner. Uh, like 5 days ago, but they just never did. Uh, I decided to get back into I got the itch to try to do some music again. And alongside doing original stuff, I am covering something right now. I'm doing a cover project because why not? Um, so that's gonna be also eating up quite a bit of time. So if it looks like I'm losing interest in YouTube and all that, that's not- that's not the case at all, it's just I'm busy. Uh, that shouldn't be more than like a month at most though. I say that and look how long it took me to fucking do like, I don't know, these map videos here and I'm still not done. Again, remember when I was supposed to be done these like months ago? That was just gonna be a small little like two month project at most? Do these map videos? That's a funny thing, but you know what I mean. Yeah, that's that's my update. Not that anyone cares, but fig I figured, you know, might as well dump it out now. To, like, whoever actually watches this. Oh! You saw that, right? That's the one thing I do gotta admit. As much as I think the jibs are a little bit weaker in Deathmatch Classic here, the sheer violent, like, you know, movement that they make when you, like, you know, have a successful strong kill on them, like the Darius body parts. Oh, that's still... I think that's better than in Quake, honestly. Quake had more blood and, like, a better sound effect, but Quake's got, I mean, Deathmatch Classic here's got more violent momentum in its giblets. Come on! Oh, missed the opportunity. Oh, well. Come on, if you're gonna use that lightning gun, know how to use it on me. So good, it occurred to me I had set the frag limit to seven, not time limit. Like, I meant to do seven minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm a genius. Uh, we'll play for a few more minutes, I guess. What? You see this going on, right? It's like I'm pausing the game, like it thinks it's a single player, like, Half-Life mod. I can't even tab! What is going on?! This is genuinely frightening me, guys. I've never seen this happen before. I just exited out of the game, too. Like, it was being weird for a second, and like, you know... Did show... What the fuck? No, really. 
What? Are you? Yeah. What the hell? Set what? What? Create server. Time limit four minute. What? 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 Y you're seeing this, right? Okay. Uh, reset the game again. That's. What the f fuck is going on? This is. It's... Am I just not allowed to have a time limit? Oh. <laughs> fuck off! Okay, I just reinstalled it. N now it's working. What? What? What happened? Like, actually, what the hell happened? Also, you can see the. This is something that um, Gold Source games have a problem with. If you don't do this, turn that off. You gotta go raw. You gotta raw that shit because if you don't, then it gets stuck. Yeah, good job. Great game. Well, I would talk about the map and show some more gameplay, but you know this this whole thing's cursed. So um.